Joseph, a 20-year-old male, presented to the emergency department with severe neck pain and difficulty swallowing. He reported that he had swallowed a fishbone a few days earlier, which he felt stuck in his throat. He had attempted to dislodge the bone by swallowing large amounts of water and bread, but this did not help. Over the next few days, he developed a fever, chills, and difficulty swallowing. On examination, the Joseph had a high fever and tachycardia. The word tachycardia comes from two Greek words, tachys, meaning swift or rapid, and cardia, meaning heart. In general, the normal resting heart rate range for adults is between 60 and 100 beats per minute. Joseph's heart was beating at 140 beats per minute. On examination, his neck was tender and swollen, and he had limited range of motion. On seeing into his mouth, his posterior pharyngeal wall was bulging forwards into his airway. This finding immediately made the doctors suspect a pathology behind his pharynx. Pharynx is a common tube for both food and air. Behind pharynx, there is vertebral column. But between these two structures, there is a potential space called retropharyngeal space. It's only a potential space, meaning, there is no gap normally, but when something like pus collects, it can expand due to pressure of the pus. A CT scan of the neck revealed a retropharyngeal abscess, confirming the doctor's suspicion. Abscess means collection of pus. Sometimes, retropharyngeal abscess is caused by trauma due to foreign body. In Joseph's case, the sharp edge of fishbone had punctured the posterior wall of his pharynx. This small wound had become a gateway for bacteria into the retropharyngeal space. There was another serious problem doctors found when they looked at the chest in his CT image. The infection from retropharyngeal space had spread into the mediastinum, causing mediastinitis, the suffix, itis, meaning inflammation of. Mediastinum is a central compartment in chest that contains vital organs and structures including the heart, thymus gland, trachea, esophagus, and major blood vessels such as the aorta and vena cavae. Retropharyngeal space extends below into the chest cavity, so the infection from his neck had seeped down into his chest. His blood samples were drawn out and sent for culture. Blood cultures were positive for Staphylococcus aureus and other anaerobic bacteria, indicating septicemia. The word, septicemia, comes from the Greek words, septikos, meaning, putrid, and, hema, meaning, blood. Therefore, the literal translation of septicemia is, putrid blood. Septicemia, also known as blood poisoning, is a serious medical condition characterized by the presence of bacteria or their toxins in the bloodstream, which can cause a widespread and potentially spread of bacteria into his organs. Joseph was immediately admitted to the hospital and started on intravenous antibiotics to treat the infection. A surgical consultation was obtained, and the decision was made to drain the abscess through a small incision in the neck. The procedure was successful, and the patient's symptoms improved over the next few days. However, on the fifth day of hospitalization, the Joseph developed acute respiratory distress syndrome. Acute respiratory distress syndrome, or ARDS, is a serious condition that affects a person's ability to breathe properly. When someone has ARDS, their lungs become very inflamed and filled with fluid, making it hard for them to get enough oxygen into their body. This can make them feel very sick and can sometimes be life-threatening. Joseph now required intubation and mechanical ventilation in intensive care unit. He was administered positive pressure ventilation to increase oxygen levels in his blood. He was also administered broad-spectrum antibiotics to cover all kinds of bacteria. Despite aggressive supportive care, the Joseph's condition continued to deteriorate, and sadly, he passed away due to multi-organ failure. Retropharyngeal abscess is a rare but serious complication of foreign body ingestion. Sometimes, this infection can spread into vital parts of the body such as mediastinum and cause potentially fatal complication. There can be encephalitis and meningitis when it spreads into the brain. The term, encephalitis, comes from the Greek words, enkephalos, meaning, brain, and, itis, meaning, inflammation. Therefore, encephalitis, literally means, inflammation of the brain. The term was first used in the late 19th century to describe the inflammation of the brain tissue caused by various infections, including viral, bacterial, or parasitic infections. The term, meningitis, also comes from the Greek language. It is derived from the word, meninx, which means, membrane, and, itis, meaning, inflammation. Therefore, meningitis, literally means, inflammation of the meninges, which are the protective membranes that cover the brain and spinal cord. 
In this case, a fishbone caused an infection that spread to the mediastinum and ultimately led to septicemia and ARDS. Early diagnosis and prompt treatment, including drainage of the abscess and appropriate antibiotic therapy, are crucial for successful outcomes of this condition. Unfortunately, in Joseph's case, the patient's condition progressed to a point where it could not be reversed, leading to a tragic outcome. Please be careful while eating fish. Subscribe to my channel for more content. Please support me by hitting that notification bell.